This program came to you from Gatewave in New York City with the help of our volunteers, friends, and organizations that share our concern for you. We also rely on the financial support of listeners and the people who love them. If you can make a contribution at any level or know someone who can, learn how to make a donation at G-A-T-E-W-A-V-E dot org or call for more information at 646-202-1049. Would you rather make your own way or spend your life saying, what if? Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580 or go to peacecorps.gov. I see you. Welcome to Isla Earth. Montana ranchers will tell you non-native plants are tough to wrangle and getting rid of them even tougher. Take leafy spurge. This three-foot Eurasian perennial probably found its way to America two centuries ago in an impure bag of seed stock. Gradually, it crossed the country to now flourish in the northern high plains in cattle country. Leafy spurge germinates easily and has deep, complex roots. Cut it out, and it regrows from the tiniest scrap. It crowds out native plants, reducing biodiversity, and the cows won't even eat it. It can even wipe out crops, and overall, experts estimate that in Montana, Wyoming, and the Dakotas, Noxious weeds like spurge cost the economy at least $140 million a year and probably much more. Most eradication methods accomplish little. So recently, after heavy regulated testing, U.S. Department of Agriculture scientists introduced spurge's native Eurasian predator, the flea beetle, which eats its roots. In test fields, flea beetles cut spurge by 90%. But native plants, instead of rebounding, got beat out by another, less nasty non-native, a European meadow grass. Scientists say this biodiversity buster illustrates the importance of stopping invasives before they spread. Here's hoping they corral the problem soon. Learn more at isleearth.org. Isla Earth is recorded on the campus of California State University, San Bernardino, and produced by the Catalina Island Conservancy, because Earth is an island. Listening to Gatewave with offices at Helen Keller Services in Brooklyn and broadcasting from Number Four Times Square in Manhattan. Coming up next, the Wall Street Journal. One hour from now, the Personal Investor, and in two hours, the New York Times Sunday Magazine. We invite you to stay connected with Gatewave Audio for Independent Living in New York City. The time is 2 a.m. All programs are solely for the use of listeners who are blind, visually impaired, or reading disabled. All material is read as printed and may not reflect the views of Gateway or its affiliates. We'll be happy to send you an updated program schedule. Just call us at 646-202-1049 and tell us whether you'd like it as large print, braille, or by email, and how to get it to you. 